Vanessa Hudgens faces backlash after a mini virus rant. Fans worry about Drake's safety. Plus, Billie Eilish is cooking up something special. Hey guys, it's Allie for Hollywood Life with your pop star roundup today from home. And first, we're starting off with Andrew Watt, a producer who's worked with Post Malone, Cardi B, and so many more artists. So yesterday, Watt opened up on Instagram about being sick for weeks, and he has tested positive for the virus. In the post, Andrew explained how long it took him to get tested and also how it affects him as a young person. He revealed he's actually on an oxygen tank, and so you should take this very seriously despite being young. But let's switch gears to some lighter news right now, like Billie Eilish working on some new music. In an interview with Vulture, Phineas said that we've started working on the new album. And I think the best thing we can do is stay out of our own way. He went on to say he and Billy are just trying to make another album they enjoy playing live. Now recall, Billy did postpone her tour and she is self-isolating, urging her fans to do the same. So let's leave her be. She has a lot of time to work on some music for all of us to get us through this. But let's go from Billy to her bestie, Justin and his wife, Haley Bieber. They escaped to the US and went to their lakeside mansion in Canada and gave fans a little TikTok action just to keep us sane. To Drake now, yesterday it was confirmed that basketball player Kevin Durant was tested positive for the virus and it has fans worried for Drizzy. The two of them were spotted hanging out on Tuesday at the Nice Guy in West Hollywood and now of course Drake did show himself self-isolating. It's unsure whether he's just being cautious or he has already been tested. Anyway, let's talk about Vanessa Hudgens now because she made a lot of people mad at her yesterday. Um... Yeah, Till July sounds like a bunch of bullshit. I'm sorry. But like, it's a virus. I get it. Like, I respect it. But at the same time, like, even if everybody gets it, like, yeah, people are gonna die. It's just terrible. But like, inevitable? I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this right now. <laughs> Following that live, the clip went viral with tons of users on social media slamming her over it. Eventually, the backlash led to Vanessa issuing an apology that read in part, I realize my words were insensitive and not at all appropriate for the situation our country and the world are in right now. This is a huge wake-up call about the significance my words have now more than ever. Chrissy Teigen defended Vanessa amid the backlash and said sometimes people, especially famous people, are gonna say really stupid shit. And so are you. And they, and you, will learn from it. And hopefully their history says they're good. It's okay. But all right, guys, hit the sub, like, and bell button. Make sure to follow me on social media for more pics of this cute little man. And stay safe, quarantined. Hug your dogs. Hug your fam. Have a good day.